Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see about a partial mental test using our software, more specifically the vegan package. In the previous tutorial, we tried to discuss about the mental test, and mental test is used to test the correlation or relationship between two matrices. But here, the partial mental test involves three um, matrices, and the goal of Partial mental test is to test correlation between the matrix of X and the matrix of Y while controlling the effect of the third matrix Z in order to uh, remove any spurious uh, correlation. So I already imported uh, my data and the data name is uh, VEG or it is vegetation covered by different species and uh, started from the first uh, column and with uh, uh, around uh, column uh, 44 are the vegetation uh, covered by different species and then uh, starting from n or uh, column 45 up to the last column is uh, a soil physical property and even we have also a geographical uh, uh, or uh, geospatial data like uh, longitude and uh, latitude. So you have to run this package and if you want to to look my uh, data is back. So head, uh, here is the geographical data and the remaining are the vegetation species uh, cover or vegetation covered by different species and here N, B, K, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, aluminum, iron, manganese, zinc, molybdenum, and are the uh, soil physical uh, and chemical property. In fact, we are, I, I only have a chemical property except this the depth one. And uh, here is also the page. So the two, the last two columns are my uh, special data or my uh, it's geographical data is longitude and latitude. So as I mentioned before, the partial mental tests deal with three different matrices. So uh, the first, let's create or let's generate a distance matrix for different uh, vegetation covered by different species by using the very Curtis distance. So I, um, I just uh, break the entire data into uh, three components or into three different matrices. The first uh, column up to the first up to 44 column is represented by the vegetation species and I assigned here is VSPP and VEG is my data or is our data and from column 1 up to 44 it is a vegetation uh, covered by different species so it's the first matrix and the second uh, matrix will be it is the soil but I will come later then let's uh, create or let's let's see how the vegetation cover are dissimilar between each other in relation to their species. So in order to do that, VSPP is our uh, data that contain only vegetation cover by different species. And the method uh, that I'm used is the Bray uh, Curtis uh, method. So type this first, this one, then fit this one. And the second uh, matrices or the uh, Y matrices will be our soil chemical property. And if you are interested uh, only on one parameter, on one soil chemical parameter, you have to use this one. Big is our data and I select nitrogen from that. But if you are interested more than one variable at a time, so you have to um, just subset by, by using this method. And the, the difference between two is this is only considering one soil chemical property, while this one is considering uh, starting from column 45, 46 and 47 means it is nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. So soil two represented by the soil chemical property that contain nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, while the soil is represented by nitrogen uh, only. So i interested on on the three or in the three different chemical property. So I select the soil two one. And you can also run this one if you are interested for soil, uh, so for soil uh, chemical property. Then uh, let's generate a distance matrix using uh, the using the brain method for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So I assigned here soil dist 
and here is the function that I'm going to uh, create the distance matrix using the method is spray and I selected n pickets or sorry two then fit this one so this is the second uh, matrices then um, let's create the third one that means uh, a spatial one so in order to do that I selected longitude and latitude from my data and I, as I consider uh, as, uh, by using a data frame function into a data frame in this way. Then I used the uh, Euclidean uh, measure, Euclid Euclidean distance uh, method uh, for the dissimilarity index. Then I assigned here is a geo uh, dist. So this will be the uh, Z or the third. Uh, one that's holding a constant for the X as well as the Y uh, matrices in order to remove a specious uh, correlation. So uh, the first will be the vegetation covered by different species. The second will be the Y matrix that's represented by the soil chemical property. In our case, it's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And the third one is the Z uh, matrices is the uh, geospatial uh, data. So the spatial uh, data will be removed or will not will hold a constant. Then the number of permutation is around 999, and only this the vegetation cover will will uh, be uh, permitted permitted. So the function that helps us to compute the partial mantle test is mantle uh, here mantle dot partial then this is the x matrices this is the y matrices and uh, the third matrices is the one that uh, holding what uh, constant so i consider the uh, special uh, data so I, I i consider special data as served uh, matrices and the method that i'm using is person in fact you can use uh, Spearman and as well as a uh, Kendan correlation method. So type this and submit to our studio. Yeah, as you can see here, the p value is uh, 0 0.26 to uh, 0 0.2682, and the uh, p value is uh, significant. So we can uh, conclude that there is a significant um, difference or there is significant difference in vegetation covered species and the soil chemical uh, property dissimilarity so this is all about a partial mental uh, test uh, in our software using vegan package thank you for watching and have a nice time